Hello everyone! In this video, I will introduce you to the third of four tools that I recommend to all InLab 334 students, County Health Rankings. The County Health Rankings is a tool made in collaboration between the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the University of Wisconsin Population Health Institute. Their shared goal is to provide data and evidence and guidance on how to use them to raise awareness for and to tackle health inequities. This resource is not directly related to the government, but many of the statistics provided come from government sources. I also feel comfortable sharing this tool because its data meets my evaluative criteria. They fully explain how to interpret the data presented and provide information about the data source. To get to the county health rankings, go to Louisiana Sources, and then the Health, Hospitals, and Social Services subsection. The County Health Rankings is the fourth tool listed in this section. To use this tool, first select a publication year from the drop-down menu to the top left of the screen. At the time of this recording, 2021 is the most recent publication date. Our state, Louisiana, is already selected but we need to select our parish of interest from the drop-down menu titled Select a Parish. Parishes are listed in alphabetical order. For demonstrative purposes, I will use Tangipahoa Parish. After selecting Tangipahoa Parish from the drop-down menu, I am redirected to the information page for that parish. The County Health Rankings, as the name implies, ranks counties based on particular health outcomes, they only select particular outcomes as the basis of their ranking. For that reason, the first two bars of information on health outcomes and health factors are not that helpful for your research. These rankings are based on the organization's particular methodology rather than the primary data. However, the page also provides the primary data for each measure, even measures not included in their ranking. For example, in the Health Outcomes section, there are five measures used as the basis of their ranking. Selecting the Additional Health Outcomes area will reveal eight additional measures with statistics on relevant health areas, such as child and infant mortality. Each measure contains data for the parish and the state level. The Health Factors section is divided into four subsections, each of which relate to health but may also be useful for other areas. For example, Health Behaviors includes data on alcohol-impaired driving deaths. Physical Environment includes data on commuting. Both of these measures may be of interest to someone studying transportation. Similarly, the social and economic factors include data related to education, crime, and employment. I previously mentioned that the data from this source provides information to help you understand how to interpret the information and to identify the original source. You may need that information to understand and to evaluate the data. For example, suicides for Tangipahoa Parish is listed as 16. Without further information, I don't know if that is a total number, a rate, a ratio, or some other measurement. I also don't know who gathered the original data or when. To see this additional information, select the measure you want to explore. After selecting Suicides, I am redirected to a new page that includes further information on this measure. I can see immediately that the measure is the number of deaths due to suicide per 100,000 population age adjusted and is based on data from 2015 to 2019. Selecting Description also shows me additional details about how to interpret the data, including that it is a rate, what age adjusted means, and that some data is suppressed. You will often find a note like this one indicating some data is suppressed. Sometimes data is suppressed due to methodology. The sample for a given geography may be too small, for instance, to analyze accurately. Sometimes data is suppressed to protect the confidentiality of those involved. In either case, suppressed data may be represented with a missing value, a certain symbol, a n slash a, or in the notes of a table. 
you want to keep an eye out for that so you can use data accurately and ethically in your own work. Selecting Data Source shows me additional details about the original source, which in this case is the National Center for Health Statistics mortality files. It also provides a link to the original source where I can download the data and get more detailed methodology. I hope this video helps you navigate the county health rankings and evaluate data you gather throughout your project. As always, if I can be of any help, please don't hesitate to contact me.